What's up, you guys? It is super cold outside. Um, so I'm all bundled up. Um, let's read some energy. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys all for your support, your likes, your subscribes, um, your, your purchases from my Etsy shop. I really appreciate that as well. Um, if you guys don't already know, most of the crystals I dig for myself, clean, um, do all the lapidary work and the metal work as well. So I'm really proud of my shop. And, um, if you guys want to you know, make a donation to this channel. That is one way of doing it. I also have um, a PayPal link if you want to make a donation that way too. It's very, very helpful. Um, it just helps me to be able to continue to make these videos. Um, all right, let's see what is going on. Ancestors of the highest white light. What is the message? Hmm. Oh, right? We've got somebody who needs to speak some sort of an intellectual truth to a narcissistic mother. Right off the jump. Here we go. <laughs> um, there, whoever this is, um, Divine Masculine. I think it's actually a Divine Masculine. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, but it could be, you know, male or female. Just take what resonates. Okay, this is a general reading. And um, remember that all general readings rather, um, general readings have little bits and pieces for, um, like messages for many people. The entire message can also resonate with you as well. So just, but take what resonates. Okay. So we've got a narcissistic mom and the divine masculine needs to, um, uh, tell this, this, um, this mother an intellectual truth. And it's like, wow, Damn, okay, yeah, I feel like this, this Divine Masculine needs to, okay, wow, we got a lot, we got a lot going on here, um, alright, it's almost like, wow, the message that I'm receiving is that this intellectual truth, it's like, this is a karmic mother, okay, um, and, like, parents and stuff like that can be karmics, okay, you guys, um, karmics basically are just, people who come into our lives um, who need to teach us some sort of a lesson. Okay, now, this is the thing, though, with karmics. Karmic relationships don't always have to be bad. It's just sometimes karmics take it to the next level, and, like, I mean, honestly, who can blame them? Because we're all, I mean, the way that society is, it's like, it honestly, it just kind of fucks people up. You know what I mean? I feel like we were born to be good, but, like, we're kind of conditioned out of that. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So... It's almost like this, this Divine Masculine needs to speak an intellectual truth to this narcissistic mother or is going to speak an intellectual truth to this narcissistic mother um, it, so that, well, first of all, it's getting in the way of his work. It's also making it very difficult for him um, to be able to sleep. Him or her could be male or female, but um, I def definitely am feeling like a Divine Masculine vibe here. Um, it's also, like, it was, the message I'm receiving was getting in the way of, um, this Divine Masculine's ability to be able to open their heart, okay? So, open their heart, and, um, I, we've got the Two of Cups here, so, um, it's getting in the way of some sort of a Divine Union, or it was getting in the way of some sort of a Divine Union. Um, another message that I'm receiving is that, a Divine Masculine has spoken an intellectual truth to this mother. Um, and it's like, what the message that I'm receiving, I have the chariot here, the message that I'm receiving is that um, this Divine Masculine was being divinely guided um, to do this, and it, having done this, it opened up that Divine Masculine's channel, so to speak, and channeling ability, okay, um, and there was a victory, um, with regards to, to that, okay, um, I also feel like this is going to help create a victory, um, for the divine union also, okay, um, let's see what else is going on here, yeah, I feel like this narcissistic mother, whoever it is, um, just kind of has a victim mentality and, um, kind of plays, on that to get attention um, 
for speaking this intellectual truth, um, yeah, I already said that, it helped to open up uh, the Divine Masculine's channel, okay? Um, this Divine Masculine um, may have... Sorry, you guys, I'm getting a lot of messages. Okay, another message is coming through. I've got the Queen of Swords in the reverse position, um, and I've got the Lovers in the reverse position, too. There may also be a Divine Masculine who had to speak an intellectual truth to a karmic who is a mother, but who is not the Divine Masculine's mother. Okay? All right, take what resonates. Um, so if, if any of this resonates with you, this, might, um, this reading might apply to you, okay? Um... All right, let's keep on um, pulling some cards, okay? Wow, okay, wow, okay. Wow, okay, so this Divine Masculine wants to come in with, um, with a gift for the Divine Feminine, okay? And wants to um, consciously, start consciously creating, um, I'm also hearing maybe build a family, okay? Um, there is... Um, the mess I have the five of wands in the reverse position. The message is that um, because of this intellectual truth that has been spoken, there will be uh, less conflict um, within the dynamic between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So that's wonderful because um, there was uh, this this narcissistic mother was creating imbalance in um, an imbalance in the universe. Okay, the, she was a, 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 could have very well been a dark empath. Okay. Um, take what resonates, I feel like for some of you, definitely a dark empath. Um, for others, I'm also, um, yeah, dark empath, psychic amp vampire. Somebody who has a, um, I'm also hearing, like, just someone, I'm also hearing that somebody's mother was depressed, okay? So, take what resonates, um, you know your story. Okay, so there's a few messages coming through, all right? Um, I do feel like with this, um, yeah, it's like this, this, this narcissistic mother or this, this karmic, we'll call her the karmic, okay, um, was kind of creating um, some really bad luck, okay? Um, the message that I'm receiving is that it's like... Oh gosh, this one's a heavy message. Um, this one's gonna go deep. Um, the, the Divine Masculine wants to be with the Divine Feminine, but because the Karmic Mother was creating bad karma, the Divine Masculine didn't want that karma to carry on and create he, he broke a generational curse. He didn't want it to um, carry on through generations to his divine feminine, okay? So, um, yeah, it's it, with the Wheel of Fortune. That is the message that I just received with that. So, um, wow, heavy message here, but really beautiful. Like, I'm really, really proud of this divine masculine. This is, um, you know, this is the stuff that you kind of have to do, and I do feel like, yeah, see, we've got the Ten of um, Pentacles now. This Divine Masculine was trying to um, create a solid foundation for, um, and set boundaries, I'm hearing, for the future of, um, for, for the future, okay, for future generations, okay? This dude broke a generational curse. If it's you, congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, it's like he just all of a sudden came to the realization and just, like, understood that he had to do this, okay? So it could be a twin flame, I'm also hearing. So with regards to that, um, you know, sometimes there's a separation period, and this could very well be why there was a separation period. I'm also hearing with this Divine Masculine, um, there was doubt in his mind um, with regards to um, whether this this type of a thing exists, these, you know, karmics, and, and you know what I mean? And so it's like he wasn't really setting boundaries um, because he didn't really believe in that stuff, but I, I feel like now this Divine Masculine has more of a, is, is more enlightened, we'll say, okay, more multidimensional, we'll say, all right, but um, this Divine Masculine, um, this, the Six of Pentacles to me 
is um, is a card of aligning with your path, all right? I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is too, but we already pulled it with in the reverse position. But um, the Six of Pentacles is, is, a, is a card of service and aligning with your path. So I do feel like this Divine Masculine um, is, is ready to do that. Yeah, definitely movement forward, okay? Um, yeah, wow. This is a great reading. I love it. What else, Spirit? Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine, this Divine Masculine might even be a seer, and this Divine Masculine um, saw a future that wasn't healthy for the Divine Feminine. And so what I'm actually, I'm literally seeing somebody like praying and asking Spirit or God to show him how to ensure that that does not happen, okay? And it's like, what I'm also seeing is, um, like, Spirit just kind of, like, took him through the steps, and he just kind of did what Spirit said. So, um, that's pretty fantastic. Um, he just, he just said what needed to be said. He, he literally just channeled whatever he needed to channel. I want to know. Um... I feel like the way things ended, it may have felt like a sort of betrayal, okay? But the message that I'm receiving is that um, the, the Divine Masculine, okay, and this is only a message for a few people, okay? Um, I lost the message. I have to get it back because it was so good. There's so many messages coming through you guys. Um... The way that things ended, it almost seemed like he... Okay, the message that I'm receiving is that with regards to the Divine Feminine and her past, um, it may have seemed like... This is heavy. Okay, it may have seemed like she was stabbed in the back when the Divine Masculine um, stepped away, okay, and, and dealt with this, all right? Um, but it was not. Um, and the other message that I'm receiving is that the lesson for the Divine Feminine was to um, not project, was to heal her past and not project that onto the Divine Masculine, okay? So the other message that I'm receiving is um, the Divine Feminine needs to open up her heart, okay? Um, yeah, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, movement forward. Again, I feel like um, there might be some travel, um, and I also feel like the two may be um, astral, astral traveling as well, and telepathically communicating. Um, yeah, anything else? What else, Spirit? Yeah, for you Twin Flame people, okay? Um, what else? Anything else, Spirit? I really feel like that was the end of the message, but we'll just see what else. Okay, yeah, I'm, I've got the sun in the reverse position, and the other message that I'm receiving is that um, it was like exactly what I just said, basically about breaking a generational curse. It's almost like this divine masculine didn't want to didn't want the frequency of the Divine Feminine to have to be lowered in order for there to be a match. Okay, is the message that I'm receiving. What else, Spirit? Or for them to be together in the physical, okay? He, he, the, the Divine Masculine didn't want there to be a discrepancy or um, a shift in the Divine Feminine's um, energy, so to speak, okay? So I definitely feel like there was this is a family member of sorts. Um, anything else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got the three of um, pentacles here. This is a card of apprenticeship, so I definitely feel like there's going to be some sort of a new beginning, whether it is, um, you know, with a job or... Um, but I, I'm seeing... What I'm actually seeing is... Oh, God, that's beautiful. What I'm actually seeing and the message that I'm receiving is that the apprenticeship and the new job is... Um, is being together and in love and in a healthy relationship. That's a beautiful message. Wow, yeah, we've got um, the two of wands again. So there's definitely movement forward, and I definitely feel like this Divine Masculine is traveling towards the Divine Feminine. I love this message. Oh, my gosh. Um, 
yeah, I think I'm going to leave it right here. I hope that this resonates. I hope that this helps. I love you guys so much. Um, let me know if you want a personal reading. My phone number is, you can just text me, okay? Um, just say, hi, my name is, um, I'd like a personal reading, okay? Um, and my phone number is area code 616-485-3479. And um, we can set that up. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys are doing so amazing. And um, until next time. Bye, guys.